So, uh... I think we're headed out. I know, I know, you're getting connected to this place, probably. And I am too, but I've come to a dead end with this island. Like, I don't want to do anything else. But I have so much I want to do in this world. Just not on this island, so I think it's about time. So we spent eight episodes here, which is pretty long in my opinion. Before I go though, I'm not leaving right this second, but... I always, when I built this, I wanted to see if I could run and jump into the ocean through this. Am I gonna die here? Am I just, is this stupid? I hit the pole. I can do better than that. God dang it. Run. And jump. Oh, oh, that feels good. Yes. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> the best part is, is we're going to make an ice road to get out here so we can visit this place as many times as we want and even build on it if we want. Before I go, one more tiki head to make. There you go, Brandon Ryan. Oh, I'm going to miss these now. Those were fun. And since we're making an ice road to get out here, don't worry, Adam Dilmore. I'll come back and get your villager and bring you back home. I plan to do this a lot more in the future too. And I want to just stay around an average of 10 episodes. Um, so I have a lot to take home. Heck, I got five books. That takes up so much space. And there's plenty of great resources I'm leaving behind too. But that's exactly why I'm creating a system to get back here fast. So I can simply come get it. I'm gonna sacrifice a lot of space to take this stuff. I got four enchanted apples here. That's nuts, but this stuff is rare, so I wanna take it all. Why does that door look creepy? I always close this door. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hi, Bob. What are you doing in my house? Screw off. Oh, I got ender pearl, and I got blaze rods. I have ender. I've got obsidian. You see what I'm getting at? Ender chest. Ooh. I have another shulker box. I have more space. Okay, I won't record the whole organizing process. I'm gonna get all this set up and then we're going to set sail on a tiny little raft. I can't forget, there's one very important item on this island I need to grab. Why? That's right, I didn't forget. This is still over here. We gotta cut off the top piece, put that in a chest. And this is the first bamboo piece I brought over here. This bamboo piece built this whole island. And it deserves its place in the museum. <laughs> I believe I have everything. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. I picked out the books I wanted in here. Nothing else I want. I have a lodestone with my pirate island base, just in case. I am going to come back eventually and copy this map and bring it back. All good? Anything in here? Dirt? I will admit, this is a surreal experience. Knowing that I'm going back gets me so excited. Like, even when I opened this and saw this, it made me realize I'm still in the same world and I'm excited to get back and see my home. This is all I'm bringing. It's all I really need. Don't need too many resources. We'll be back once we connect the roads. There's one more thing I gotta grab. Use this one more time. Can't forget Rexford. Come on, buddy. Also got Jude. We're doing good. I keep going back looking at these. Like, I don't need anything from here, but I feel like... Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna bring some of this so you can heal. All right, that's it. Put out the fire. This was a fun experience. We need to do this every so often to rekindle my ideas because I have loads of ideas for back at home now. Goodbye, island. Goodbye, lighthouse I just made. <laughs> Ooh, could bring these skulls. Nope, nope. And thanks to all those tiki heads of everyone supporting my channel. I gotta get back home and look up on my house. Hopefully everything's doing good. I'm gonna take this boat. Because this, I didn't realize, this boat is actually an OG boat I took all the way here. So I'm simply gonna take it. All right, it's going nighttime. Turning around, going back. Now we're off. I'll be back, Adam. Have fun in your cage. Remember all those trail ruins I found recently? Not while I was at the island. Before that, I found a bunch of trail ruins, but they would all just be on the surface and there was nothing below them. Supposedly, there's a bug in the game where they're like 30 to 40 blocks underground, go figure. So if I find any, I'm gonna dig down and look because we still don't have the relic CD. Bad zombie, bad. Smell it, smell it to find more. This is how I need to make my bamboo forest, back at home. This is something I'm going to be doing when we get back, and we're finally going to make our own proper bamboo forest. It needs to be spread out just like this. Oh. 
We're getting there slowly but surely. I kind of forget how good Elytra Wings are. I bet you didn't expect to see me in here. <laughs> I found a random village and a hole next to a well. And I guess it was a village I came to to look for a stronghold and I did find one. Why am I even here? I don't need anything here. I saw something poking up. I just, oh, that gave me a really warm feeling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so, imagine if you were coming across this in normal Minecraft. Just coming out of these woods like this. You see that? I'm telling you, there should be a biome like this. Just a dead biome. This is where I'm building that bamboo forest, by the way, right over here. Oh man, I just can't explain this feeling. I really can't. I know we weren't gone that long, but it was pretty long for me. And just coming back here, huh? It's because it felt like I started a whole new world, but I really didn't. Oh, good old rain. Oh, there's Pathfinder. Glad you're doing good. Rest in peace, Jack McCartan. What? I still didn't clean up my space debris? What the? <laughs> I completely forgot what that was. That looked so strange. Ah, <sighs> welcome to my home, Rexford. This is now your home. No insane void crashing through my world? Huh, surprising. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get settled in. Oh my God, I forgot I left you guys out here. Ah. Oh. All right, well, this is not all we're doing today is returning home. We are going to be building today. Rexford, come meet Pablo. Sniff his butt. I'll be back. He sniffles. Hi, bandit. Everything's organized. I put my armor there for now because I'm not going to immediately throw it into the museum because it's still usable. Like, maybe one day I'll probably won't. I'll probably put it over there. But anyway, oh, what armor do I put on? There it is. Oh, Katana, the flying slime. My lucky rabbit's foot. Oh. You know, I really need to use this exploring gear because it's older than that and it needs to be used. I just need a quick flight real quick. Ugh, to get my wings back. Okay, I thought I had a skulk box in here and, or a storage area, but it's nowhere. And I know I have a lot of skulk material. Oh, wait. Why am I worried about Skulk? Because it is involved in our next project. Oh, the good old lab. It's good to be back. I'm gonna stop expecting them to fix this because this is a year and a half, almost like two years old now, so whatever. Oh, right here is where I'm looking. No! Oh, there's it, okay. Oh no, there's no catalysts. Wait a minute. So I probably have it in the title thumbnail, of course, but I am wanting to make a Skulk infection out in the world somewhere, as if it has seeped through the ground all the way from bedrock, all the way to the surface, and I want to make an infection happen somewhere in my world. But to help this process, we need a catalyst so we can just kill mobs at night and help spread the infection. And I have a skulk box somewhere in my world that has stuff in it. Oh, the city. Well, I honestly didn't think I'd be instantly exploring as soon as I get back home and I forgot a major thing. Oh boy, but I'm looking for a new ancient city. We're not gonna be exploring it, just want the Skulk Catalysts. And I'm wondering if I remembered to restock my emergency supply. I did, I have night vision potions, that's good. Look at me being handy. Here's a mountain. And I kind of forget you can find Skulk without an ancient city, so that's nice. Question is, will I get lucky? No, this is a ravine. Here we go. This looks promising. There's gotta be Skulk down here, I guarantee it. Okay, I'm getting scared, emergency pack. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so nice. I keep forgetting what it's like to just have good gear. What is that over there? Look at this place, it's loaded. I'm taking those, those are mine. Oh my God, there's diamond everywhere. Oh my God, I'm not here for diamond. I'm here for Skulk. Ah! Look at this mine shaft. Look at all these chests. Oh my god, there's more diamonds. Hey, Jack. Ah! Hi, have you seen Skulk? This is pretty. Just like my girlfriend. God dang it. Found a mine shaft right at the surface. Ooh. So I know I'm in a new direction because I've been finding things like this and that cave. And then I look down as I'm going past. What? 
What is this? D I gotta go in now. Whatever you do, don't kill me. Please. Huh. No! How did it not make a portal? Oh, it was probably such an old portal. Ah. Uh, that's why you always come prepared, kids. Always come prepared. Toolbox? Heck yeah. Look at me. Nice. I just need some deep dark. Or more diamonds. What the- what- what was that? That's not cool! Ha! Huh. <sighs> more. Uh. <sighs> okay. It's enough collecting. <sighs> I will never skip a diamond. But holy crap, this is getting ridiculous. Oh! <gasps> Honestly don't know how I haven't, uh, found Deep Dark yet. I'm looking under mountains. What was that? Don't tell me that was what I think it was. Of course it is. Okay, now I'm just going to extreme links to collect these diamonds. <laughs> Found a new cave. How is that the first thing I see? It's under a mountain. Not seeing deep dark though. Sure I am seeing these shiny blue rocks. Oh, thank you. This is all I wanted. Okay, this is what I wanted. This is all I wanted. Well, might as well take all of it. Goes down there some. I'm sort of following it. Maybe it might, oh my God, come to another ancient city. Got one potion left. I found a location that might have an ancient city somewhere beneath it for the future. How many catalysts did I get? Nine? That might do, but let's get back home. I want to find the location where I want to build this outbreak. That's a pretty cool cliff. Oh, it's a little cherry island. I gotta stop by this island to refuel. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And let me know if you're not subscribed to the channel, but you still watch my videos. I'd love to have you here. Okay, we gotta consult the map here. Oh boy. You know, I am still thinking about converting all this brown land all throughout here too. I think I could do it. It would finish off this whole area, but I gotta pick a spot where I'm gonna basically turn, maybe it's probably gonna eventually be the size, maybe like this or this, just all black. <laughs> you know what? I kind of want it to be like a little island. So similar to this. I thought that would be good, but that's too close over there. I'm thinking this. What if I turn all of this into like a skulk infection? And I could fence off the whole island, make it look like a dangerous area. Let's go check out this island. Did I leave any in here? A few. This is it right here. I could, yeah, this is decently sized. I think it would look pretty cool. I'm imagining it all fenced off around the sides with some barbed wire. Well, that looks interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think this would be a great spot. I'm gonna thin out the trees a bit. Okay, this ax isn't gonna cut it. Literally. What do I even have? Oh, here's one. That's potato. I don't want potato. Tomahawk. Nice. I bet you this is gonna be 33 levels. Worth it. Okay, about 200 trees later. Not even kidding. At least my axe didn't get too destroyed, but uh, got lots of wood now. That's a plus. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a few trees around here because as skulk spreads, the vines wrap around the trees and it looks like it slowly kills the trees. I wanna get rid of these big ones, but I'm gonna lay a lot of logs on the ground as if trees have fallen over and died. For all I know, I won't be able to make this look good today because you need a lot of mobs to let this stuff spread. Now I guess I'm just gonna... So, I, I don't really know how this works. Stop moving just for a second, please. Just chill. Stop moving for a second. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I can just do it like that. It might take forever. But I can get a fair amount covered by just killing random animals. Um, see, I don't understand that. Why didn't it happen there? What was that effect? Is it because it wasn't in the ground? No, this one worked. What the? Invisible Bob, not cool. Yeah, nighttime might increase this quite a bit. Oh, this is gonna look so cool. Hey, butter skeleton, follow me. But you can't hit me. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Hey, there's some boots for you. Come put on the boots. Can skeletons put on boots? It would match your gear. Just do it. He didn't do it! Five nights and five days later of just killing mobs and all, I mean, just every kind of mob you can think of. That's all I got done. And you know, as I was doing it, I was thinking, I didn't want to go through the process of placing it because killing mobs sporadically like this really makes it organic as if it's like an actual infection spread it in these areas. Once I started placing it down manually, I couldn't make it look as good as this. So I'm gonna have to keep coming back here and just killing mobs after mobs. I'm not gonna cover every inch, although it kind of would look cool, but I think it would look better just splotched everywhere. How do these look? Oh, okay, good. It appears on the map. I wanted it to look infected. I have this many bottles of enchanting. I've, I think I've used one or two in this whole let's play just because, because I like collecting them rather than using them. Yes, I found a, over a stack and a half of these, but I want to find out if it'll work with this. Oh my gosh, look, my armor got destroyed by the way. Might have to be retiring the Explorer gear here soon. I got a feeling this won't work. That's sad. Wait. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I usually just come up here, kill chickens. I mean, it covers a little bit. Chickens give you the less amount. This will go to show how many mobs I killed that aren't hostile. No, there's no mob that drops smooth sandstone, if you didn't know that. The more you know. Coming in hot. Uh, I just realized I only have one nether I didn't get to my name. Um, that better not be the case. What? Oh, what the? <laughs> I completely forgot I moved my vault. Oh, it looks like I got robbed. Oh, hey, buddy. Glad to see you're still alive, Mason Parker. Yes, I've been looking for an excuse to come back to the city. Oh, we are going to be returning here real soon. Probably next episode for all I know. I just missed this place. All right, good old bank. We got to get the tellers in here. I actually forgot about this place, holy crap. Although I don't want to keep all of my wealth down here because I have to travel pretty- uh oh. I, why did I do passcodes? You gotta be kidding me. Ha! <laughs> ha! There it is. Okay, yeah. Oh wow, I have a lot. Gave me that. Everything down here is still safe? We good? Another passcode? Haha! <laughs> oh, this is my emerald, which I don't have a lot of. Please don't be retired. I just put on this armor. Oh! Oh, it's really cheap. Oh, nice! I don't even think I've ever repaired this armor yet. That is great news. Traveler's trousers. Oh, I hate being unorganized with all my armor. I like my sets being right where they need to be. I'll repair that later. I'll bring you out for now. All right, this island is getting pretty covered and I've got a fence around the most of it, but when it reaches points where there's like cliffs, I don't put a fence. And the lore behind this island is I took that box that I'd originally made in the lab that caused the infection and we put it on this island and it's been spreading ever since. So, made it sound like there's a creature in there, of course. I think this is gonna be a great idea. And I'm going to build a small little bunker somewhere over here where I'm gonna put some villagers and they're gonna be scientists. I'm gonna make it look like they're in hazmat suits or in a controlled environment, maybe under this hill. And they are perhaps trying to find a way to contain this in a way. I don't have enough cobweb. I think I will make this barbed wire fence, but I got it surrounding the whole island except over here. 
Well, because I ran out of iron. But uh, yeah, oh my gosh, look at this. This, <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but to get this much coverage just from killing creatures is actually a really hard task. But it's looking pretty cool. But uh, I think I'm done with this for the day. I think I'm gonna give this parrot a name from the citizen's book because the citizens can be any animal in this world. Looks like they got any mail. Ah. I don't want to look at that right now. I'm going to answer today's comic question. We're finally back on the normal episodes, but of course I'm keeping track of all the episodes when I restart. Well, kind of restart. But from Frozen4236, are you planning on doing this more throughout your world? If so, I am all there for it. That's good to hear. Because yes, I already have my next one planned out. Um, so I will most likely work around home most of the time until I start getting a little bit bored, I guess I could say, or just decide when I need to get that fresh restart. You never know, it might be 10 to 20 episodes at a time, but I already have my next one planned out and I think I want it to be in the nether because since the nether update, they've made it to where you can survive in the nether from scratch, which is really cool. There's food sources, there's wood, there's everything you need. So I would go far off in some random direction that I have not been before in the nether, throw everything that I brought with me, which is most likely a food source in the lava, and start over in the nether, which I think is a fantastic idea and challenge. So expect that maybe when we do it next. And I'll probably continue to call them episode ones, but keep track of the series, you know how I have been. Because it's a good way to bring in new viewers. A lot of people want to see episode one. That's not necessarily clickbait. I am restarting, so I'll probably continue to do that. And holy crap, do I need to catch up on signs. I don't have them placed yet, but everyone who has donated while I was out on the islands of, of course, the 50 and above will make it on the walls, and I know there's quite a few to catch up with, but we do have these donors. Michael Lasky, thank you for your dono. Jake Connor, who made it on the Tiki Head while we were out there with an absolutely ginormous donation. Jake, thank you so much. You, of course, made it in the book and on this wall, and you got that Tiki Head. You are a true saint. Evan Jose Matthew, back with another dono. Thank you, Evan. And Brandon Ryan. I can't, that name sounds familiar. I don't know, maybe I I guess you are a new donor. I, I can't remember. Lots of cold baths. <laughs> thank you, Brandon Ryan, for your donation. It's very thoughtful of you. And thank you everyone for watching. I gotta end it here. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.